Brexit Britain is a great power which is leading Europe's charge against Vladimir Putin, Margaret Thatcher's former aide has claimed in a stinging attack against one of the UK's most ardent Remain campaigners. Niall Gardiner, who served as a foreign policy researcher for the Iron Lady from 2000 to 2002, responded to Tony Blair's former spin Dr Alistair Campbell on Twitter to argue the UK is leading Europe in confronting Putin's Russia. His comments come after Remainer in chief Campbell claimed on March 24, as ever the Kremlin playing the UK like a fiddle. The powers they fear are US, China and EU especially France and Germany. Pretending Johnson is anti-Russian is part of trolling the others and seeking to sow division between UK and rest of EU and NATO. Now watch the UK government help them. Responding on March 27, Mr Gardiner said, delusional crazy talk from at Campbell Claret. UK is leading Europe in confronting Putin's Russia and supporting the people of Ukraine. Bitter Remainers still cannot accept the democratic decision of British people to leave the EU, and the fact that Brexit Britain is a great power. The spat between Campbell and Gardiner comes just a few weeks after polling data suggested Ukrainians consider the UK a key ally in their fight against Russia. More than half of Ukrainians said they thought Britain had been doing enough to help Kyiv, according to a recent survey by Lord Ashcroft. In comparison, less than half of respondents indicated they thought the European Union and the United States had been doing enough. Brexit Britain also received praise earlier on in the Ukraine crisis. Parliamentarians in the RADA held up two Union Jacks alongside flags from NATO, Canada, Czechia, Denmark, Estonia, Latvia, Poland, Turkey and the USA to voice their gratitude for British support. Even Barack Obama's ex-ambassador to the EU, Anthony Gardner. Himself a critic of the UK's departure from the Brussels bloc, noted how Brexit Britain had responded decisively to events in Ukraine. Earlier this year, Mr Gardner said, as bad as Brexit has been, I fully admit that a significant upside is that the UK can act swiftly in foreign affairs including Ukraine rather than being dragged into endless EU waffle. Throughout the crisis, London has also continued to push for its allies to impose tough sanctions on Moscow, often to the resistance of some EU member states. 